Hello Internet! I am RD Lady and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to merge different animations creating a more complex and longer animation using the Motion Flow tool from 3ds Max. And it's much faster and easier to work on smaller animations and then later combine them if compared to working on a very large and complex animation at once which can be very confusing and very slow depending on which computer you have and in the end of this video I'm gonna show you how to export this complex animation as a video in AVI format so the first step to merge animations together is to export them in BIP format the biped animation or BIP format is the format supported by Motion Flow. And I'm using here some attack animations that I made for a character named as River from the game Nosgov. This game was cancelled a few months ago and it was one of my favorite games. So I'm trying to recreate this animation as an initiative to preserve the Nosgov game content. So how do I export an animation in BIP format? Well, the first thing to do is to open the 3ds Max project, which has the animation that you want to export. After that, I select the skeleton of this 3D model, and now I'm gonna go to the Animation tab on the right, and I will click on the Save button. Then I can select the BIP format as my output format, and I can choose a name for this animation file. If you don't know how to make a skeleton for the 3D model and how to attach a skeleton to a 3D model, I have posted other tutorials in this channel teaching how to do that. So please check out those videos. So I will repeat this process of opening the 3ds Max project, selecting the skeleton, the biped skeleton, and exporting the animation for the attack 1, attack 2 and attack 3 animations that I have made. After that I will be able to use the motion flow to merge these animations. So now that we have all the animations in VIP format we can use the motion flow to merge all these animations and combine them making a more complex and longer animation. So the first thing to do is to click in the motion flow button and then we go in show graph and then we start to add clips to our animation script. So I have to create these clips because for each clip one different animation will be assigned. Since I have three attacks, the attack 1, 2 and 3, I'm gonna add three clips. And I add these clips just by clicking in the create clip button and then I just click anywhere in this graph window. Each time I click, one new clip will be added. And then to assign animations for these clips, I just need to right click in each one of them and every time I right click in them it will give me one option to import my BIP animations. So I'm gonna right click on each clip and add one animation per clip. Once I have added all my animations, I can make transitions from one animation to another just by clicking this button. I can click and drag from one animation to another. And that will make an automatic transition between my animations.
So once we have our merged animation, now it's time to export this animation to a video file. And we can export this animation in a video file by using the rendering tool of 3ds Max. So we go to render setup and first we define which view we want to export. In this case I'm, I want to export the perspective view. After that we have to select which frames we want to export. In, in my case I want to export a range of frames that goes from the frame 0, the very first, until the last frame, the frame number 55. And after that we have to select the resolution of the video file that we want to export. You can select any resolution you want by using these buttons or you can write down any resolution, any width and height for any resolution that you may prefer. And finally we just have to select the path in the output file name for our video file. Once we have set all these options, we can click in render and our video will be exported. Here is the result of combining the attacks 1, 2 and 3 of our river character from the game Nosgoth, making a much more complex and larger animation with a smooth transition. And it's much faster and easier to work on smaller animations and then later combine them if compared to working on a very large and complex animation at once which can be very confusing and very slow depending on which computer you have. So in this tutorial I have shown you how to merge different animations in a more complex and larger animation and I also have shown you how to export these animations in AVI format. Please like this video if you like this tutorial and subscribe to this channel to receive new tutorials. See you next time!